Hey everyone and welcome back to Neo. On this video we're going to be doing the main mission, the Samurai from Sawayama. This one is mission level 127 with a difficulty of 5. The rewards are a large soul stone and 6 highest quality leather cords. And there's also 9 Kodama to find in the level. Also this is probably going to be the last mission I do with the Kusadigama. Because I think I'm about to get max proficiency. So you guys will have to let me know if you want to see the axe or the spear next. Remnants from Ishida Mitsunari's army have holed up in Sawayama Castle. And continue to put up a fierce fight. However, they aren't the only problem Master Kobayakawa and I are dealing with. Demons have appeared under underneath the castle as well. Our men are convinced Ishida's grudge is driving them. And their morale is suffering for it. Sir Anjin, can I ask you to take care of these creatures for us? Sawayama Castle stands on the banks of Lake Biwa in Omi Province. After Ishida Mitsunari renovated it for himself, it was renowned for its grandeur. So much so that it soon became known as one of the two things that was too good for him, the other one being Shima Sakon. Now it has lost its beautiful central keep along with its lord, and is nearing the end of its usable lifespan. September 1600, Sawayama Castle, Omi Province. And I don't remember, I haven't been uh, doing too many missions. Do I have my blessing up? And oh man, almost can level up. Let's see, Kudama Blessing, Oracle Blessing. That's the experience one, I think. Yep, only 5% at the moment though. We'll change that. So uh, this level is rather confusing, lots of secret passages and just sort of just a really confusing layout. So hopefully I don't miss anything. If I do, I'll know because I'll not have all the Kodamas or whatever. But I think I remember everything. What was Mitsunari doing, building this place underground? I need to inform Lord Naomasa of this immediately. And this door right here, it's locked. We'll find a way around for that. Yeah, this guy's gonna get up and then trigger a trap. So I'm just gonna go to the side and that trap will take care of him. And we got another one of these dudes. Get smashed. What the? Demons? Demons everywhere! How about a bow? Alright, what do I do here again? Oh. Stairs right next to me. I'm blind. Okay, and we got our first Kodama. And then that's that door we went by earlier. Oh! Well, I stepped on it, but doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see. Let's go this way. Got an elixir. We got a wheel monk. Let me pop a power pill. Oh, ow. Let him get up, bro. Ah, uh, but he got his key back because he's in the pool. Ow. Well, I got him. I hate those things. Let's get off that fire first, and then we'll use elixir and got me close to full. And I've got seven elixirs, so I'm doing decent with it. Uh, that leads down to the basement. Question is, do I want to go that way yet? And I'm going to say no. We'll go that way in a bit. 
We will go this way, though. Okay, this is locked, but we're gonna get the key later. I don't think there's anything else in here. Let's go through this door. We got this guy. Combo the crap out of him. And finish him up. Some Uchiko powder. Uh, I guess we can just take this around. And this is... Junosuke the Loud. Let's drag him in here. Side got my user. Doesn't really matter what they use, I just combo them dead. Uh, that's actually a trap over there, so no reason to go that way. You'll just fall down into the basement. Next, we're gonna deal with this thing. So break that. I think it spawns those skulls. And then I've got the wrong enchantment for this guy, but I'm not too worried about it. I'll avoid him exploding on me. In fact, I might just kill him before he does. Yep, no problem. Okay, well, I could break stuff in here, like the book piles. I don't really care that much, but might get some good things. Uh, I don't remember this door. Oh, actually, yes, I do. Okay, any further and you'll fall through. Oh! Wow. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. I guess we're going down here. So, let's see. I'm trying to get my bearings. Got a skeleton. Double blade spin for him. There you all are. What happened to you? Yeah, that's Kodama number two. You're telling me they're all human? What's a place like this doing in our castle anyway? Let's see, this is where I came from, right? Uh, no, I didn't check over here. A dung ball! I need those. That's a big skelly. Lord Mitsunari, I knew we couldn't trust that man. It's a bit confusing down here. Hmm, actually, let me go back and look at something. I don't remember... Alright, never mind. I'm seeing things. Okay, that's the ledge I'm thinking of. That's what I was waiting to come down here for, but... We'll just have to come down here a second time, because you got a... Chest up there, and I think there might be... An item or two. Oh! Hand cannon! Managed to close the gap though. He's dead. Spider! Got him. Okay, I believe we're almost back. All right, now we're here. Such a confusing level. So let's see, around the corner, there's a dweller, we wanna take care of him first. And we got this guy.
Uh, this is locked up. We'll have the key for this later, too. What are all those strange voices? Where did everyone go? I thought there was a spider in here. Guess not. What were they doing here? Uh, let's see, I think that's locked. Yep. Oh, jeez. I think he missed me. They jump on your head like that, they do a ton of damage. Okay, we're back. So we'll go this way. And this time we won't fall into the trap that we know is there but step on anyway. Now back off, he's gonna throw a bomb. See that guy up top? Hmm. Usually blows up the barrels. Well, we can get around this way and go get him. So right here is a secret spot. Want to break through these? Watch out, there's a trap right as you go in. Don't step on that. Our castle was in ruins, and it's all that man's fault. You got mad things. Oh. I need to heal. Uh, elixir time. Get rid of that fire, and we got that big old dweller. Who just missed me somehow. I'm having trouble hitting him because he's below me. Let's get him up here. There we go. Much better. Okay, uh, let's see. Corpse right here. And then we want to blow up these barrels. And this leads to that dweller that was throwing the bomb earlier. And over here is a Kodama. Which is, what are we at, three now? I think we're at three. Okay, can I jump down safely? Looks like it. Oh, that scared me. Freaking Tanuki. Ah, uh, that one is threatened. Man, I'm looking cool. I love that. Never get to see myself from the front. Unless I do that. I don't do that too often. Okay. Um, so back into here. Past that trap. And now we're going to have to deal with one of these uh, dual-wieldy guys. And I hate these guys. They're a little rough. At least for me. I'm debating using an elixir and I... I think I will, actually. It's kind of wasted, but if he gets a hold of me, it's going to hurt a lot. So I'd rather avoid that. Actually, no, never mind. Oh! Oh, jeez. That's why I hate them, but I just killed them with that trap on accident. That was awesome. Okay. Next time... Oh, I should have just used the living weapon. I don't know why I didn't do that. Well, ah, whatever. Next time, living weapon. Uh, I got a shrine there. I'm not going to use it, though. Because I'm going to need to come back to open some doors. And I don't want to have to... Re-kill all this stuff. 
Okay, right here, there's a dweller at the end of the hallway, but there's another trap that's gonna send you down. So instead, we're gonna run into the room. Take care of this dweller. And we're gonna, ah! We're gonna kill this thing. Okay, and now for this dude, but we've got the wrong enchantment, but once again, it should be fine. Not too concerned about it. Confident in my damage. I see. An excess of Amrita causes the subject to swell to unsustainable levels. Okay, now we can safely get this guy. Okay, and we could blow a hole through that. I don't really see the point. And that's locked from the other side. We got that enemy right there. Nothing there. Let's go get him. L Lord Mitsunari, help me. That one's locked. Spider right here. Damn it! What's happening out there? Alright, let's summon this guy. Warriors, warriors. And yep, I had him do that last time. For some reason, when he spawns in those planks or boards, it hurts him. Which is odd, they're just boards, but whatever. I'll take some free damage. Okay, and then this leads down into the basement area. Okay, so now we're going this way. Another Kodama, I think that's number four. one of these dudes. Come on. Let's do this. Okay, let me get my bearings here. Okay, this way is a hot spring, so I may as well top my health off. And then this way is the basement. Although this goes somewhere too. I, let me check this first. I don't remember where this leads. No! How could they have already made it this far? Oh, where does this lead? I totally don't remember this. Oh, right. There's a Kodama right here. And this uh, opens up one of the cells we were just near. Okay. So back down, and then we'll fall into the basement area, get that chest. Then we'll have to make our way back out, but I think we could take that door I just opened to get here a little bit quicker. Karakala Kawa armor and Shingeku medicine. 
Okay, so it's this way. I told you this level's confusing. So I think it's this way and then around. Those guys are still locked in there. I gotta come back later. And this way. And I think the door we opened is right here. Yes, there we go. Can't believe I actually made it through. Uh, Alright. So, now we want to go this way. That's uh, a wheel monk. Power pill for him. Dang it. There we go. Should be able to finish him right here. And we did. Weller. Oh, nasty damage. Oh, trap. Watch out for that. That door's locked, but we'll be getting the key very soon. This is Gunbei the Nameless, and we can actually use the trap on this guy. Oh, well, I got stabbed. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but that was cool. It's actually probably a good thing he ate that arrow, because I might have. And I wasn't exactly high health, it might have killed me. So, he did me a service. Alright, oh right. Kill hand cannon, dude. And then I think this is just a one-eyed Oni. Yep. Yeah, we'll bust down a living weapon on him. Jeez, that damage. Holy crap. Why was that so high? Alright, we got the Gallers keychain. We want to come back over here and open up this door. And we get a noble dung ball. Okay, and then this is empty. I think this one over here is empty as well. Dionjin Sake. Uh, we'll take this path up. And that's a Kodama, and inside this room is a bunch of enemies. I'm gonna shoot the barrels, get those to explode, and then mop up whoever lives. We'll just funnel them through the door. What the? Where did you all come from? No! Don't! Uh, Shokichi the Combustible. Level 134. Let's get him out here. Ah, uh, that's not gonna work. Nope. Oh, that was cool looking at least. I got style points, I think. Hopefully, let you guys be the judge. It's like doing nothing. Stop locking. Just take my punishment. There you go. Okay, uh, let's see. We got a room over here. And, uh, living weapons all ready to go again. That was quick. Alright, here we want to be careful. So, we want to come up just a little bit and then go back down. I 
think that's the only one that comes, but let's go over here just to be safe. Uh, Alright, so that's towards the boss area. Before we do that, we want to go up here. We've got a revenant. It's Ishida Masazumi. Should probably pull him over here. Okay, and then there's a secret. Oh, right there, I opened it up. Got some more Shingeku medicine. Here's another Kodama. I've completely lost count. I don't know what we're at. Well, hopefully we haven't missed any. Okay, and then this should look familiar. We're back in an area we've been. So I'm gonna go back towards the entrance, open up one of those jail cells, and then go uh, down sort of into the basement and open up another one. So the first one's right here. Bunch of crap in there, jeez. All white. Okay, so back down this way. Oh, I never took care of this revenant. This is Drunken Goro Dayu. Okay, so I want to go this way, and then to the left, I think. Let's see, did I choose right? Uh, yes, right here. Okay, one down. Oh, he threw it through the thing. That's crap. Oh. Show me his back. Oh, crap. Alright, let's heal up. He's acting weird. And I got an elixir right back. There's another Kodama. Whatever number that happens to be. And a purple Ishida Masamune. I guess it'd be pronounced Masamune. Huh, never thought of that before. Been pronouncing it wrong forever. And actually, I went the wrong way, didn't I? I think I need to go this way. I'm um, kind of turned around. Oh, okay, here we go. So then this way. Through here. Oh, wait. No, not through here. Back this way. Yes, there we go. And I take this all the way to the top. I drop down. Then I take that path we passed before. Okay, and then this door's locked. That leads pretty much right to the boss. So we kind of have to fight away, or fight around. Yeah, fight our way around. And you know what? I bet we could get a bunch of experience here. A bunch of Amaretta. Let me see, how many Saisetsu Shin Sake do I have? 
I got four of them. Let's go ahead and use one. There's a bunch of big enemies here that should give a lot of experience. Plus these things. Big one-eyed Oni, he should be good for some experience. Uh, living weapon. Okay, we'll worry about looting everything after. So I need to come this way. Open this up. Oh, didn't quite work. There we go. It's a big spider. Ow. Ooh. Being kind of nasty. Haven't had a problem with this guy before. Ah, he hit me again. He's got me slow. Big time. I'm going to play it safe. Get a heal. Yeah, finish him off. Okay, what do we got this way? Oh, didn't mean to do that. But we'll take advantage of it with a living weapon. Hello. You're gonna die. You may end my living weapon, but that's okay. Oh, but you do have me on fire. That's not okay. Bring him over just a little bit. That should be good. Big guy's dead. Uh, let me use some soul stones. I want to get my living weapon for this guy. Because screw these guys. I hate them. We saw what the last one was capable of. We're not repeating that. We're just getting rid of this dude. And I think that's everything. Yep, that's the boss room down there. We uh, passed up a Kodama at some point. In this area. If there's any others I passed up, then that sucks, because I don't know how I'm going to get them. But we'll uh, worry about that in a bit. Open this up. I don't really know why I'm doing it, but I am, just in case. And then we'll just backtrack through these rooms, pick everything up, and go fight the boss. And my elixirs are going to be full. That's good. Shingeku Medicine is full, too. It's not a super hard boss, so I'm not really worried about it. But you don't want to underestimate any boss in this game. And that's the final Kodama. So we're all set with that. Take that, books. Got a chest over here. A Mononobe axe. I like that word. Mononobe. Look at all that emerald I have. 2.4 million. Ridiculous. Okay, uh, this is where I came in. We didn't loot this room, and then we're good. I could use this shrine. Oh. Damn it, Zanari. A useless pawn. How could he lose? I must hurry. Okay, we could use the shrine, but I really don't have a reason to. They give me some Emrita, but I think I can get that Emrita whenever. I don't think it's like a you have to use it kind of deal. So yeah, we're all set, I believe. Oh, I could get power pills, but eh, it's not really necessary. No, I think we're good. Let's just do it. You. 
you again. I was so close. Okay, quick change scroll. We want. Oh! Crap. Oh well. Thought I had those poison amulets slotted. I can't do it here. Okay, well, whatever. We'll deal with what we got. Uh, we should slot them, though. Oh! Jeez, that casted fast. Did you see that? That was ridiculous. Alright, watch out for that. I guess we'll. Do a blind thing too. Watch out! Oh, that's some good damage. Take care of some of that key. I don't know why I'm keeping my health low. That's not a smart idea. Key damage. One more should do it. Boom! Put him on the ground. Final blow. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Good living weapon. Uh, he's got a final part where he uses a different weapon. Oh, actually, he's doing it now. I hate this. So I'm gonna try to power through it. Oh, the living weapon is so good against him. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Quick. Oh my god. I will never get used to that. That is so incredible. You're too slow for me, buddy. of becoming a samurai so that I could fight for Lord Nobunaga. Who do you fight for? That spirit? I... I... I have met men who have fought, struggled, and died to create a world without war, where people and spirits can coexist in harmony. I fight for them. <laughs> Lord Nobunaga told me that he would make me a true samurai someday. But he died before it could happen. It seems you have achieved it on your own. Brought to this country bondage. Treated like property. But then, my lord Nobunaga granted me the title of samurai. But I couldn't save him. Like the snake man said, I believe only my lord could rule a world as crazy as this one. But... Does he really want to be resurrected?
Possessed by Atlas Bear via Spirit Division. And we got the trophy, a true samurai, for completing that mission. Mission complete, the samurai from Sawayama. Ishida has cast his lot in with a foreigner, and begun using dark magic to transform humans into demons. There is no room for men such as him in the world of peace that Lord Ieyasu envisions. We must destroy Sawayama Castle, and all the hideous secrets within. Okay, let's check out the gear we got. Actually, I guess it really doesn't matter. Because I'm going to be switching. Wow, did we get any good spears or axes? Well, we got that axe. Holy crap. And it's earth enchanted. Well, that might decide it for me. Unless you guys really don't want to see an axe. But your only other option is spear. So I'm... I think I'll keep that axe. Let's just put it in the uh, storehouse to be safe. Huh. Look how much that gives, that large soul stone. I should use my um, stones. I haven't used those in a while. Oh, God. How am I going to find this? Weapons. There it is. Okay, move to storehouse. All right. Let's see here. Oh, there's another axe. I didn't even notice that. Oh, and it's lightning enchanted. That's even better. All right, it's good. We'll send both of those. I don't know how I missed that the first time. Lightning enchanted is probably going to win, but we'll see. Okay, so those are out of the way. We don't have to worry about them. Uh, I guess I could just break down everything except the purple stuff, and then we could pick from there. Because I might want some of that gear. So that's probably the way to go. Because I'm just going to be switching. And yet my proficiency is max. So next video is going to be setting up one of those builds. So yeah, let's just do that. We'll break down everything but the purples. And we'll figure it out from there. So blacksmith. Disassemble. Pick everything. But oops. Wait. How do I uncheck? Oh, I can't... Oh. Okay, triangle does it. There we go. So triangle, triangle... Well, actually, these can go because I don't need them. Well, that one's part of a set. But, yeah, we'll just... We'll just check it. Check it. So all the weapons can go. So let's do that. Uh, let's see. How do I... Yep, there we go. Disassemble all of it. And that's all it's giving? It's weird. Should have been better, I thought. Okay, uh, so check everything. Uncheck. Okay, just one thing to look at. Plus my old piece of gear. Nothing there. Just one legging. And nothing on the feet. Oh, and I didn't check the... Oh, that's one thing I should have checked is the accessories. Let me go take a look at those. And nothing. So back to the blacksmith. We'll sell those. Okay, what now? Now we'll use the stones. The soul stones. So let's see, we got the large soul stone, that's worth 50,000. That one's worth 5,000. Got five of those worth 2,000 apiece. Can I use them all? I can. Those are worth 20,000 each, I got seven of them. Three of the small ones. Fragrant wood, no. That actually might be everything. I was thinking I had more, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Nope, 
We just have those, uh... Oh, did I sell my large ones on accident? Oh, no, there they are. So we got 37 of those, but they're not worth much. We'll just keep them. So, uh, next we'll go to the shrine and level up. Although... I guess it's kind of pointless, huh? So we don't need to level up, actually. That Amretta will just get used with the other Amretta. So then that just leaves Amretta memories. Thought Amretta. Got people, the Obsidian Samurai. Since ancient times, vi visitors from faraway countries have found their way to Japan's shores. One of them was a man known only, or a man known now as the Obsidian Samurai. He found himself in Japan through a series of extraordinary circumstances. Though the Obsidian Samurai did not come to Japan of his own accord, he remained here under Nobunaga's protection, who he served as a samurai. No matter where he may come from, or where he may have come from, he proved a capable addition to Nobunaga's forces. Then we have Jibunosha's castle. It is well known that there are two things which are too good for Ishida Jibunosha, Jibu, Jibunosho Mitsunari. One of them is Sawayama Castle. Less well known is the underground prison that stretches out beneath the castle grounds. Here, the Snake Man has been practicing unspeakable cruelties against his prisoners. It is unclear whether or not this was sanctioned by Mitsunari himself. Now that the castle's master is gone, all that remains beneath are the cadavers and yokai. And why is people still highlighted? Oh no, but it's gone now. We have uh, our new guardian spirit, the Atlas Bear. The embodiment of nature's ferocity. It originates from the far southwest, where legends, uh, where legend says that if you plant a baby's face with the Atlas Bear's pattern, on the first day it hears thunder, the Atlas Bear will protect the child for the rest of its life. Those who the Atlas Bear protects grow up to be strong and hardy, and are said to be able to survive danger that would rob most of their lives. We have character directory. I have actually have no idea who it might be. It's not William, is it? Uh, no. Alright, who is it then? Could be that new guy, but I figured he'd be at the end of the list. Who is new? Ah, Tenkai. Wait, what? Oh, this must have been from before. I probably just forgot. Tenkai is in fact Akechi Mitsuhide, the general who catalyzed the Hanoji Temple incident which forced Oda Nobunaga to take his own life. Mitsuhide was said to have been murdered by rogues after being defeated in battle by Toyotomi Hideyoshi, but in fact he simply changed his name to Tenkai and started a new life as a monk. Today he is strongly in sympathy with Tokugawa Ieyasu's desire to unite all under heaven and supports Ieyasu behind the scenes when possible. I might have read that before but I'm not sure. Let's keep checking, see if there's anything else. Because there very well might be. Oh, Obsidian Samurai, there we go. Yosuke was a warrior under Oda Nobunaga, a black, African-born man of imposing build. He first came to Nobunaga's attention as the servant of a Christian missionary, leaving that position and entering Nobunaga's service at the latter's request. He was treated as a samurai rather than a servant, and is said to have sworn fealty to Nobunaga for life. Nobunaga had never seen a black person before, and it was only after seeing Yasuke undress and bathe that Nobunaga finally believed that his skin color was genuine. Yasuke was favored not only with status, but also with weaponry and equipment, and participated in the pacification of Kai province and other operations. He was by Nobunaga's side at his final stand at Hanoji Temple, and, on his own initiative, bore away his lord's remains after Nobunaga's death. Later, he would be persuaded by the newly arrived Kelly to assist in the resurrection of the Overlord. Okay, and that's probably it. Kelly didn't have anything new. I'm gonna assume that's it. Yep, okay. Then we have the Tale of Neo. Which is in the Omi region. Loyalty and... Well, no, we read this before, didn't we? I think so. If not, it's right there. The Obsidian Samurai. Lying beneath Sawayama Castle is Kelly's secret alchemy lab laboratory, where he is attempting to resurrect Nobunaga just as William arrives. 
Kelly flees together with Nobunaga's remains, but as William is about to give chase, he is stopped by a giant figure clad in black armor. A reason for fighting. The samurai defeated by William was Yusuke, a retainer originally from Africa who once served Nobunaga. When asked by Yusuke why he fights, William speaks of his feelings after having met Ieyasu, Nekomata, Mototada, and the others on his journey. Yusuke accepts William as a fellow samurai, and shares with him the guardian spirit known as the Atlas Bear. Alright, so we are all caught up. And like I said, on the next video we'll be starting a new build. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.